here's another quick video. Let me drop the uh, audio down a bit. This is our broadcast band here uh, near Vancouver. What I've done is I've taken the uh, the gain. That's not a commercial. Thank you. Um, I've taken the gain and dropped it all the way down to zero dB. So right now, the only gain is the seven, I think, dB that are built into the into the up converter itself, which um, is actually trying to regain losses made across the circuitry. But take a quick look at our broadcast band here. Look how busy it is. And this is with no gain. What I'm using right now is a commercial uh, vertical. Uh, what's it called? An R8, I think? It just says 40 to 10 up on the patch panel. Oh, no, it does say R8 vertical. Um, and it's, uh, it's owned by one of our club members. And it's sitting at the uh, at the club right now. And you can see a couple local stations that are just booming. So there's uh, CKMJ, which is a uh, all-traffic station. CKNW, which is a uh, news, talk, sports... Um, Currently, I've got the uh, screens here a little too low. Other stations on the dial, Team 1040. Uh, was it CFTM or something like that? CFT? I don't know. Uh, there's some stuff from Vancouver Island <clears throat> that's crackling in. Uh, there's News 1130, which is CKWX, a very well-known call sign, as was CKW. And we've got uh, 1200, which is an uh, um, uh, international broadcaster. That's... Uh, Punjabi, I believe. Well, here we've got uh, Team Ten, or sorry, Team Fourteen Ten. This used to be C Fun AM back uh, back in the day. And then we've got Sixteen Hundred. So there's a couple stations in Vancouver. We're Six Eighty. So here's Six Eighty, Six Fifty, which is a uh, um, old timing uh, CISL. AM650 is a is a kind of a classic hits type AM broadcaster. Pretty much the only good thing left on uh, on AM. So you can see that I've got quite a bit of spectral width. And again, you're not going to see a lot now that I've got the gain right down. But look what happens right up here. Oh, did I pass it? No, oh, that's. See how when I this is an interesting effect. When I get a lot of noise, right here. The noise right here skyrockets. And I think that has to do with some of the I and Q math, or I don't know what it is, but watch. Now, when I scroll over a bit and take that noise away, that's fine. So if I correct IQ, the one in the center goes away. But that issue's still here. Interesting. Because, yeah. Right now, there's some big broadcaster showing at the, uh, I don't know, 3.3. 3 .3. Now, when I drag over, is it still there? Nope. Here is 3.3. .3. There's nothing here. So, some interesting things. This antenna is going to start to get effective in a few megahertz here. Uh, here's 40 meters, which is where it claims to be effective. You can see there's quite a few different... Uh, different signals that will pop in, so... Oh, that's why. Okay, I'll turn the gain back up here. That puts me to about 16 dB. You can see all the broadcasters. Uh, oh, there appears to be something right here at 10 megahertz. I wonder what that could be. Probably the most famous broadcast place I've actually toured from the outside. Not sure if you can hear that. Fast. So these RTL dongles, dongles rather, are pretty decent units. So it's up in frequency a bit here. You can see lots of broadcasters. They're always clustered together. Okay. So now we're in 20 meters, which is right up in here. And you can see how there's multiple different things right there? So that's just because 20 meters is, in the grand scheme of things, pretty small. So we'll bring it over. Go into USB mode. And, uh, the name is 
Texas, by the way. How are we doing? We're doing good, sir. Got some magic around you, boys. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, I'll, I'll join you a little bit here when you get uh, the roundup. I, yeah. um, I just so one of the things that I can do to make this a little prettier I is I can increase the resolution. So I'm going to go to to a higher resolution. It's going to take a little bit more processing, but it looks a lot prettier. So we'll even go up another level here and basically see if I can go until the computer starts to choke on it. So you can see things a lot cleaner. Anybody else down here? This is not good to do on a trackpad. But anyway, it's a pretty decent demo of uh, my little converter box all enclosed in another box. So it uh, makes for a decent unit. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up and see if I can hear one of the local uh, um, six meter beacons on this second receiver, which is uh, going to be more effective in lower frequencies. Sorry, higher frequencies than, uh, than this one. Thank you.